Is it recording? Yes. Hi guys, Veggie Game. We're back and we're back to it again, guys. What a freaking treat last episode was. It really was, especially after the horrors at the end of episode six. Episode seven was such a beautiful um, side quest, I guess you could say. I mean, I say side quest, it's definitely going to be affecting Echo ongoing, definitely, but it was so, so sweet. It was also brutal. The stuff with Jace was fantastic. I really do hope there is a moment where Jace and Echo get back together. And Jace is like, oh man, I, it was terrible. I, I had to walk all the way into Piltover and everyone was dead. And then these creatures started chasing me. Then I fell down the pit and, and uh, dislocated my, my leg and had to wait for that to heal. And I was like doing all the science on the wall and climbing back out and finally got up to the, to the top and everything. It was awful. What did you get? What was yours like? And he was like, I had a great time. <laughs> I was facing in the ideal Piltover, apart from minus uh, vibe. And I'm guessing Jace as well. I think it, it, it didn't say it, obviously, but I think it is definitely implied that Jace probably died as well because it was Jace, you know, the explosion happened and Jace and Victor still were able to, you know, get the ball rolling and everything. So it's so interesting that that moment was so huge in our game. I guess you could say any moment. Is, it could have been huge if, if things changed. I would have loved... I, I, I'm very interested to hear theories of what Sinistral would be up to because presumably he is still... Making Shimmer right? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I mean, we don't know if that was the only difference. I mean, it, there most definitely were more differences. And so, either way, it was a beautiful experience of an episode, guys. The, the shot of Powder holding Vi is going to go down in one of the most powerful from the entire show for me. It really is, guys. That was so freaking heartbreaking seeing back... Back when they were relatively happy. And then for that to happen then, oh, jeez, powerful stuff. I particularly like the fact that it's Marcus as well who comes in and looks kind of horrified at what's happened. Because it's kind of beautiful, guys. I do, I really like Marcus, guys. <laughs> Despite the fact that one of my videos in the first series was actually called I Hate Marcus. Um, I think he's such an interesting character. And there's clearly so much more going on that we, that we will never hear context for. And so his expression of horror when he saw, oddly shock and, you know, it's sadness at what's happened was was really not was really appreciated at least for me um the four second bit is definitely one of the funniest moments on arcade ever <laughs> like it echoes face after saying what happened to hymen again it's like going four seconds the limit is four seconds <laughs> that's absolutely brilliant um Someone did comment saying how uh, Echo's first line in Arcane is just give me a, a, a few seconds. And now he has those few seconds. Presum presumably he's, I'm presuming he's going to be able to do that ongoing. It's it's the big monkey thing, isn't it? We, we shall find out. And also, Heimerdinger said back in the wink when he jumped out of the, uh, the portal thing. And so maybe he, maybe he has an other other ways out. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But either way, it's sad that he's gone. I presume he's gone, guys. But like I say, he did say back in a wink. So, either way. And I think that you guys have told me before that Yordles uh, basically re respawn, right? Possibly? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll find out today, guys. But either way, wonderful episode. Only two episodes left, guys. This is the penultimate episode of Arcane. Jeez. Okay. So now we're going to be back to where the explosion took place, I'd imagine. I'd, I'd imagine we'll be stopping in with Mel. And that's it. Those those are our two story arcs, if, if Echo and Jace are indeed back. Let's get it watched, guys. And so if you want to watch a full-length version of this reaction, it'll be over on the Patreon, guys. You can back the Patreon for as little as a dollar and get access to everything that's on there. Um, including all Arcane Season 1 and Season 2 full-length reactions. You'll need your own copy of Arcane to sync to, but I make that very, very easy to do with time codes and uh, pop-ups. Let's get into the penultimate episode of Arcane, which has been a freaking treat, guys. I have loved this show every second of it. Um, well, apart from when we saw how many diggers face explode. <laughs> Let's get into uh, Episode 8. So now we're back to me worrying about what actually happened at the end of episode six, guys. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such an interesting idea having such a tangent of an episode, but I'm so glad, glad that we got it. And the fact that they did a whole episode for it. Fantastic. Mel. Yes. Oh, Mel. She's not having a great time either. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering if this Super Saiyan thing is, is the thing that she inherited that whoever this is is after. 
Oh, I think it is. She's gone Tron, guys. She's gone full Tron. I mean, I love her new look. That's amazing. Amazing. She's given a new haircut as well. Oh my god, Mel! Outrageous! What a cool look! I know that some of you guys have said that there's a chance that she might be in the game in the future. I mean, I'd like a classic look as well, but this is a cool look to have in the game. <laughs> in the moment, Mel Madada. There is no time like your first. Who's this? Oh! Is it the girl that died? We each have our own expressions. Yours is quite rare. Able to sense others' inner selves and bend their magic. Or you hide your true face behind illusions. Ah, uh, so yes. Is the greatest illusion of them all. That's cool. Should one want you dead, a simple blade would do nicely. Quite. I gave Ambessa every opportunity to atone for her transgression. He chose uh, pride over progeny. progeny. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> this whole charade. You want to recruit me? Oh. Your talents develop quickly. A calamity is approaching, rivaling even the ancient rune wars. This is what you see in me? A silver bullet? Oh. I see salvation. She's my mother. Yeah, exactly. She has always done what she thought was best for the family. I can't see Belle doing that, ever. She hid you because you are that which she covets most. A weapon. Well, interesting. What is this? A welcome to your future. She gonna do it, or is she playing a long game? Maybe I can't see her turning on an investor, but investor is not exactly put M Mel's interest. At I don't know, guys. We shall see. Oh, Sister. this is Noctis. Wow! I mean, that was a lot of information from Mel. <laughs> Fantastic. She looks great. She looks freaking awesome. I feel like the, the Black Rose stuff is a lot easier for people that know a lot more about the game and everything to understand, but I am absolutely intrigued. And like I say, I think it might be LeBlanc, because she has these lines here, which I'm pretty sure LeBlanc has, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. For a second, I did think it was the girl that uh, Mbessa killed in, in Season 1, but no, it, it was another vision for Mel, wasn't it? One that she remembers and has nightmares about. Oh, Rictus. Well, there you go then, guys. The explosion took place. I was hoping it was a, a swerve. I really was. Oh, wow. Vertical? Brutal. Oh, man. So, the master plan that Vi had last time just went completely wrong. All because of Jace making... Oh, jeez. This is sad times, guys. Victor... Maybe. I did say it'd suck if uh, Singed got to uh, get to Victor. We do not lament a warrior's death. We avenge it. As if it's not all your fault. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's probably unfair, but seriously. Blood should sustain Victor for a short while. God. Wow, still alive, guys. And get the impression he probably does want to live now. Well, he, he wanted to live before, but, you know, because of all the good, good inverted comments he was doing, he probably wants to get back to that. Your ingenuity deserves praise. The world I now see is more. Oh, Huck's still going. Lucid is the glorious evolution. That is terrifying. Or it could have been. It has the capacity to complete the Doctor's transformation. I will deliver you to this anomaly if you agree to empower every soldier I bring you. She's like the greatest army ever now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, Abyssa has all the toys now. She really does. Where's everyone else though? Where's Jace? We need to find out where Blum and Jace is. And Echo, where's everyone else? Bye. Mm. Bye. Oh! Wow! Oh man. She grabbed Jinx as well, so presumably Jinx is very nearby unless, unless she's gone, which is, let's face it, very likely. Especially with Caitlyn there. Oh, don't. Don't. <laughs> I'm not surprised. He's quite similar shape. <laughs> yeah, cut across the stomach, couldn't she? Jinx. 
Jinx. Loris. Spit it out. Don't tell me that Jinx has died. You can't blame yourself. I don't need consolation. <laughs> I need a plan. Well say, Caitlin. I freaking love her character, What's guys. It? She's become amazing. You know what? I It makes sense. It actually does, why? And I'm the biggest Jinx mark. You'd never have done the same for her. We'll never know, will we? You didn't let me in on that part of your plan. <laughs> yeah. You believe I'm so daft I can't recognize a contingency? Daft! How long were you sidled up with that shifty, self-serving war pig? And you just ate it. I know! It's true. And, and she, yeah, she, I love the fact she admits it. But yeah, it's so true. She just... Surrendered. I didn't even have time to think before they hauled her off. Oh my god! She hasn't got anything anymore, has she? Can't erase our mistakes. Who decides who gets a second chance? She killed his, her mother, though, by. I get it. I, 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 that's amazing that Jinx gave herself up, but I understand Caitlyn's con uh, confliction here completely. I really do. I think she has a, a nice cell, at least. <laughs> Probably not. I'm loving the new hair, by the way, Caitlyn. This is going to be a compensation and a half. My goodness. I thought for a second that Jinx had died yet, okay? <laughs> Seriously, this show plays tricks with your mind sometimes, you know? Oh, no. If you're here to kill me, make sure to finish the job. There are no happy endings. Well, apparently so. I'm giving you this one chance to account for your actions. All the pain you've caused. Mm, Jinx. Do what you came here to do. I just don't have the energy for it any longer. I said I didn't know your mom was there. Probably wouldn't have made a difference, but... No. I didn't know. It wasn't an attack on Caitlyn. Ah, oh, God, that was beautiful, guys. I love this show. That was so sweet. Poor Jinx. She looks, uh, she looks troubled. She really does. Oh, God, it doesn't take long, much to uh, make me tear up. Guys, it really doesn't. Is this, is this Mel? All the way back again. Is she a blooming of it? Jace, have a shower, mate. <laughs> Seriously. Get that wound looked at. Jace. Can't we can we say that we got we we captured Mel? If you if you go back to Noxus, then you could have her. Or something like that. <laughs> you know, that might work. It might work. Probably not. Definitely not. You're the reason we didn't die in the attack. I still don't fully understand. It looks fine. Why just me? It wasn't a decision. One moment you're addressing the council and the next we're standing in rubble. Use me. Oh, it's true. You called us investments. You were a wise investment. I mean, she's definitely did manipulate them. <laughs> that weapon is crap. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, hello. You're new. We must talk, Victor. Is this what Victor actually looks like? He looks incredible. I would have shown you the merits of my work. Our work. Everything you've done to these people, you did alone. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, ki yeah, kind of. <laughs> but you brought him back though, Jace. He has to take some of the responsibility. Everyone's guilty here. I think you already understand what must transpire to complete my mission. You look so calm. I love how calm and friendly he looks. But he looks terrifying in this reality. Wow. Stay away from the hex gates. Oh my god, it's, it's, he ain't lying, he ain't lying, Victor. This chain of events started with you. It started with all of them, but yeah. Oh no! Let us instead this once again as partners. Willing partners? Oh, guys, this is so complicated. It was my sincere desire to avoid this. Oh my god, yeah, he's just trying to take him. That is absolutely no good, Victor. He looks so cool, though. Everyone looks cool in this scene. Bell, little help. Oh, he just takes it straight off him. Oh my god! I love him. The thing is, even if Jace explained to him what would happen, he may be fine with it now, you know? This is so cool. This is so cool. Imagine this image was previewed. 
P4 season 2 drop, guys. It'd be wild. Oh, double team. Not against my victor, though. I still like him, guys. I still like him. I'm so conflicted. Well, that's one body down, then, presumably. Oh, man. Just doing what he feels is right. Although what he what he thinks is right is definitely wrong now because he tried to just take it from Jace then. You may begin the process. Oh no! <laughs> Don't say things like that. <laughs> What's the process going to be horrible in it? Maybe it's a birthday pie. Let's let's say it's going to be a birthday pie. She's she, oh okay. Oh, don't go away. Voices are back. You're too late. It says something about the late Marcus visiting your sister to be a greater mercy than killing her. Killing isn't mercy. Killing is a cycle. One that started long before Vanda and me. Well, of course. I'm done running in circles. We build our own prisons. Walls of self-doubt and accepted limitation. That's Jigs in, in a nutshell there, isn't it? And call them us. I think the cycle only ends when you find the will to walk away. Jinx? Yeah, I thought this was going to happen. <laughs> Love to see Goose blue eye then. That was very cool. Swipe these from the guard station. You're kidding me. If you come, maybe we could rewrite your story. I don't like think so. I mean, I'd love it, but I don't think she's she going to. Right. Oh, okay. We at, Really? Oh my god, I, I was so sure that she was going to say no. Purely on what Silka was saying. That's freaking beautiful. You're never gonna give up on me, are you? Like Echo said he did, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't need to feel guilty about being happy. You deserve to be with her. What are you gonna do? Break the cycle. Break the cycle. Walk away? I'm hoping maybe just leave Piltover rather than anything too drastic. Oh, and I would have loved it, guys, but I just... Too much has happened. I believed it my calling to merit the blood in my veins, yet it has dictated the course of my entire life. It's all about identity, this one, isn't it? There is no force in this world that can control you. <laughs> oh, smooth talker there. Hello, who are you? You're not Harold. You will never be a passenger. Well said, Jace. That was cool. And also, he looks amazing. He really does. I'm pretty sure he's clean shaven in the game, right? As, as in his default look, of course. Come on, give us Camille. Give us Camille. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's too late. It's too late. That's the family, though. Quiet. Oh. Forgive me. He looks amazing. A storm is coming. Perhaps Ruterra itself has never faced. I didn't even know it's no, Savika there. That's crazy. And the, um, firelight. This creature infiltrated the very room you're standing in. The Noxian general is leading them. Oh my god. No begging you to aid us in this coming war. Crazy them being there. And it will be a war. Finally Zorn and Piltover working together. This isn't a fair request, but it is our only hope. We need every hand we can get. Is that the Awakened? Piano, <laughs> maybe. Oh man, yeah. Coming together in the absolute worst of times. Like Jay says, it's not a fair deal, is it? Jeez. Oh, bless her. What a sweet little lady. If you choose to flee, don't stop running. Oh, traded him up. Oh, you, yeah. I mean, he, like, like they say, it's not a fair deal. Looks like the Camille family was off as well. More bloomin' war, guys. I like the focus on this guy, the uh, pianist. Oh, guys, the tension I have hit right now is just powerful. I actually didn't think we would go full out war. I really don't. Oh, poor little lady. Sort of little fluffy thing there as well. <laughs> that was cool. You know, they're getting out of dodge. I get it. No, no, no. They have every right to flee. Zorn army, I presume? Yes! 
Ah, oh, God, guys, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very worried about where this is going. Beautiful. I am freaking tearing up like mad. <laughs> oh, God. This show, guys, this show. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling I might find you here. <laughs> Amazing. I went behind your back. I choose wrong every time. God bless her. I've lost everyone. I've given her a hard time in the past, guys, but I backtracked on all of you that. You really think I needed all the guards at the Hex Gates? You've grown a bit predictable. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good on them. Hope there's no guards watching. Quite frankly. Oh, I really hope there's no guards watching it. How far is this going? Maddie's not blooming watching, quite frankly. While you were gone, I saw someone. I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> the last battle's gonna be five versus Maddie, guys. I predicted it. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, bless them, guys. Okay. How far is this actually going, though? We do still have ten minutes. There's no CCTV in this place. That's a cool tattoo. Never, never seen that one before. I mean, it's beautiful, guys. I'm just a little bit concerned about how far this is going and how much I can get on YouTube, you know? Okay, yep, yeah, it's definitely going further. Genuinely don't know what to say right now, guys. But, well, this is lovely. Right. Now back to the YouTube edit. Because I'm only... <laughs> no, nah, you can keep all that on, on YouTube. That's fine. I'm only jesting. Only jesting. Everyone looks so cool in this episode, guys. They're no, they're no huck, them two, are they? You're alive. I know about the Black Rose. Your brother was struck with curiosity. So you let him die? Oh. I carried him in my belly. For that, they took him. Carved into me a wound that will never close. You should have come to me. You well. have made the impossible intolerable. Piltover has nothing to do with your feud. Board True. your boats. I will join you. We can avenge Kino together. I don't see it happening. Well. These mages dangle over our heads a sword that impales us should we rise too high. Cunning, sweat, and steel shape our destinies. That's cool. I've found another way. Blumen Victor, guys. An army that need never fear death. Oh my goody. Goose. That's what um, Jason Echo were drawing, wasn't it? You may begin the process. Process. Oh god, guys, it sucks about Warwick. It really does. I'm getting heartbreaking, seriously. Guess this is goodbye. Oh no. Essentially losing his humanity, I presume. What a frickin' journey for Victor, guys. Our talks. No. You won't. Jeez. Well, yeah, if he's completely emotionless, he won't, will he? God. No, oh, this again. God damn it. I wonder if in the game, if these two actually have a deeper connection, maybe, Victor and Warwick. Like I say, guys, I this is all brand new to me. Oh, we're doing this again with the beautiful watercolors. That's all going as well. God damn it. Seriously, episode six could not have gone worse. Seriously, really couldn't. The darkest moment. I mean, it's beautiful in a way, isn't it? But it's really not. It's really not. Really sucks about Warwick, guys. It really does. I mean, with Victor, I've always kind of assumed that something's going to go wrong with him, but everyone looks so cool in this episode, guys. I love this white army. Like I say, I presume that's what Victor looks like, maybe. You do wonder how the hell we're going to fight this, unless somehow Warwick can snap out of it again. It's unlikely. It's very unlikely. Oh my goodness. Oh god, I've got chills. 
Is that what he freaking looks like? If so, that's freaking cool, guys. Believe me, I have resisted the urge looking up what Victor looks like this entire time. I remember the first time that I realized that Victor was a game character. I was watching a uh, a YouTube reaction channel. I'll, I'll get their name because they're, they're really funny guys. They're, they're one of my favorite Arcane uh, reactors. They haven't actually started season two yet, which is good because I want to finish uh, Arcane uh, before, before watching any reactions. Uh, Struggle Nation. All one word. It's a hashtag as well uh, on YouTube. Um, and I remember the first time I realised that Victor was was a playable character was um, when Victor introduced his name. Sorry, guys. I'm emotional. This episode, freaking hell. I say this episode every freaking episode. This season two has been immaculate, guys. It's freaking been amazing. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry. Back to boring story time. Um, so when when Victor. Uh, Who's all knocking at my door again? Seriously, she knows when I'm emotional. She really does. Yes, we definitely share a bond when it comes to emotions, guys. <laughs> Good girl, monkey. Um, yeah, so uh, when when Victor introduces himself to Jace, when he says, when Jace says, I don't even know your name, Victor says, it's Victor. The, the one who's played the game out of the two is like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, so, yeah. That was cool. So then I realised that, that he was a game character. Since then, I've absolutely avoided looking up what, what he looks like. Um, and yeah, I presume that's what we saw at the end. Oh, God, guys, I am an emotional mess. I really am. I really love... <laughs> um, oh, my God. Not Cordelia. Caitlin, jeez. Caitlin saying, oh, but, but while you were away, I was with someone, but I don't ever care. She's started throwing the F-bombs out a lot lately, isn't she? Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful scene, though. Um, This episode was brilliant. It, was, it really was the calm before the storm. Was there a single... Th oh, there was a fight, of course. Victor versus uh, Mel and uh, Jace. Jeez. Even saying that feels wrong, you know, after everything they've been through. Um, but yeah, that, the rest of the episode was purely just a, a, a build up to to the next episode, which is presumably freaking war. I mean, fighting Victor's army is going to be hard enough considering Mel and Chase barely survived. But yeah, you throw Warwick in there as well. And you really get the impression there that that was the last time that Warwick will ever remember his humanity and Victor quite frankly like I say I wonder if they're connected in the game like maybe uh, I don't know I don't know if any characters really protected in the, connected in, in the game but in the lore is is Warwick more of a Victor guy you know maybe I don't know I guess in, in you know if I can get it out tomorrow after we finish the last episode guys I can look all this stuff up looking forward to that so if you have any videos that you recommend for uh League law, particularly around Piltover. I'd love to see it, guys. I really, really would. Um, particularly Piltover, obviously, because we might be getting other shows in the future, maybe. Um, obviously, I've seen that Crit's uh, M MMO game is already... So I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's something like that, which is fantastic. And I feel like I've watched another one of his videos. I just, I just can't think what it is. Um, but yeah, su suggest away, guys. God. Like I say, I presume that that is, that is potentially Victor's final form, maybe. Like I say, I thought that maybe the, the, the white skeleton thing could have been. But it it was Victor who turned into it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. He looks amazing. And do you reckon that he will? I mean, Mbessa is using him right now ultimately ultimately victor is going to turn on her as well like maybe not in the show but if ultimately embessa gets away and uh, you know takes over pelto i guess or you know raises it um victor is from what i understand with his character is going to be trying to get rid of any kind of life or free will maybe like what you were saying at the end of the last episode that's what that's the thing guys because i i thought that 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 cog rolling um 
at the end of episode six gave us a, a, the possibility that maybe the ending didn't actually happen and maybe the next episode would start with the cog landing on the other side didn't happen guys so isha's gone ah oh, god damn it and it looked like sabika and bat dude were walking out on jace's call as well as the family that you were saying could have been uh, Camille. But wouldn't it be freaking fire if next time they show up and I go, da-da, and Camille comes out and kills everyone. <laughs> I need to look up some other heroes as well from Piltover, because I remember there's the big uh, clanking robot dude who has the little, little yordle as a friend. What's that, Timo? Okay, so I'm thinking about in You Really Got Me uh, trailer. Um... Timo is with the clunking robot dude, right? So I don't think they actually work together as, as a character in the game, though. Yeah, so they're separate. But the clunking robot dude... I'm trying to think of other Zorn character, Zorn or Piltover characters that I know of. Camille, obviously. I I don't know if Mask Dude from Awaken... I, sh I can't remember his name, guys, but I know he's super, super popular. What is his freaking name? But I, I know that he's super popular. I don't know if he's particularly a, a Piltover or Zornite. I'm not sure if anything about him is um, is known. It's not... Revan? Jevan? <sighs> is it Rev? It's not Revan, because I would have thought of um, Star Wars. Jevan. Is it... Je I'm going to look it up. Is, is it Jevan? <laughs> I feel like it's Jevan. Jevin. It's not Jevin, is it? Okay. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is. It's something like that. Um, other than that, guys. Oh, the little... Um, I say the little. The uh, the treasure hunter guy uh, from the Awakened uh, trailer. He's, uh, he's a Saw Knight as well, I believe. Or is he a Pilty? I think he might be a Pilty, you guys are talking about me. Can't see him showing up. He's off getting himself caught in temples, isn't he? Oh, man. This is so brilliantly done, guys. It really was the huge calm before the horrific war that's coming. Oh, Victor looks cool, guys. I got, I got his image on screen. No, no, I got it from the episode, I should say. I paused on the image of, uh, of him. I presume that's actually what he looks like. He still has hair. He still has hair. At least here he does. Um, it's... The, the amount of dread that I feel, guys. But it was so nice having the, the, the Vi and Caitlyn scene. It really was. Sorry for making fun. to tune that scene, guys. But sometimes as a reactor, you don't know really what to say, you know? <laughs> but, um... Gold. You reckon... Do you reckon... That's interesting, because you know, at the start, when, um... When Vi storms into Caitlyn's office... And Maddie like walks out. You, you you might get the feeling that Maddie's like, yeah, I I can see that. I'm out of the picture now. Maybe, maybe. I reckon so. That was a great scene though. That was a brilliant scene. And um, I mean, I wouldn't. Have, I completely under, could have understood Caitlyn just arresting Jinx. Quite frankly, you know. Um, you know, having her life saved by. But by her or not, you know, you know, still what happened to her mother. But I freaking love what uh, powder. Jinx said to Caitlin about, um, I didn't know your mother was in there. It may not have made a difference, but I didn't know. Was, I think, my favourite line for this episode, because that made me very, very sad. <laughs> it really did. Oh, man, guys, one episode to go. This has been such a wonderful journey, guys. I don't know if I... I, I, I don't think I've mentioned it this year, guys, but... Arcane... Uh, when I checked it out for the first time, because I was like a year or so late to it, um, I was going for a very, very hard time. And um, that's why in the first series, I I get very emotional during <laughs> some bits, guys. Seriously, episode three, I was not in the state of mind to process. I really wasn't at that point. Um, and so this, this, this journey has been absolutely beautiful. I'm worried for everyone. I love the fact that the um we, we found out her name last time, didn't we? And I can't can't remember what it is. Um is it girl maybe? But the, the, the jinxter, I, I I call her, um how she was on the, the transport, sat down and then like looked and saw the old lady being helped onto the same transport as her. And then they <laughs> shot up crossing the ridge. 
Oh, God, that poor little lady had a nice little hat shop, it looked like, didn't it? That was sweet, guys, you know. that was That's the sort of detail that I really appreciate, because Zorn, to, to me, is still, you know, the four walking down the street, you know, uh, with uh, Welcome to the Playground playing in the background, you know, whereas there are going to be people like that living there as well. I know, Bubba, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Either way, guys, thank you so much for for following my journey in this show. We have one more episode to go, and I, I look forward to seeing you there. And I, I ain't ready for it, guys. <laughs> it's going to be emotional. It's already emotional, but yeah. Tomorrow's episode, if I can get out tomorrow, it's going to be intense. Oh, you like that, yeah. You like that, yeah. Okay, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'm a Gamer, and I'll see you next time.